Hello everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is a 2.4 GHz spectrum analyzer USB dongle from iFrog Lab. Most of the spectrum analyzer module available on market will cost you around $1500. But this one is the most affordable as well as portable spectrum analyzer which cost only around $85. Uh, the size of this spectrum analyzer is of USB disk hardware box. It is ready for plug and play, making it extremely easy to connect to a PC. It covers the common 2.4 GHz band and has detection bandwidth up to 80 MHz. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use this spectrum analyzer to detect or identify any signal in the frequency band of 2.4 GHz. We will go through the software setup and various tools to detect plot and export the identified signal. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. This video is sponsored by iFrog Lab and Tech Design, which is the IoT solution provider in Taiwan. iFrog is one of the suppliers on the Tech Design platform. Tech Design brings together a network of 500 plus verified electronics design and manufacturing suppliers to support you throughout your product development journey. You can also jumpstart your project by leveraging one of our 1600 plus customizable electronics hardware and IoT solution to reduce the cost and time of your hardware development. Welcome back again. Let's first see what is 2.4 GHz frequency band and its applications. The 2.4 GHz frequency channel means the frequency ranges from 2.4 to 2.4 GHz, which is unlicensed and used for many communications applications. There are several uses of the 2.4 GHz band. This includes cordless telephones and baby monitors. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and Zigbee all of them use 2.4 GHz frequency band. Apart from this, microbe, oven, radio control, drones, aircraft and radars all of them use the 2.4 GHz frequency band. A spectrum analyzer is a device that measures and displays signal amplitude as it varies by frequency within its frequency range. The frequency appears on the horizontal x-axis and the amplitude is displayed on the vertical y-axis. It looks like an oscilloscope. A spectrum analyzer displays a spectrum of signal amplitude on different frequencies. It enables analysis that determines whether signals fall within required limits. It displays spurious signals, complex waveform, rare short duration events, and noise. This is the 2.4 GHz spectrum analyzer USB dongle from iFrog LAM. It is ready for plug and play, making it extremely easy to connect to a PC. It covers the common 2.4 GHz band and has detection bandwidth up to 80 MHz. It has RF interface of SMA within a maximum input power of 0 dBm. It supports slide marker and amplitude frequency maximum minimum display. It also supports single and continuous triggering. The application areas include basic RF 2.4G band for debugging and testing power amplifiers. It can also be used to confirm testing wireless products. You can also use this to perform testing of the wireless signal coverage and wireless product development. This is the official link from where you can purchase this product. The product will cost you around $85 only. The purchase link is added in the description below. Alright, let's move to the usage part. Go to this official link of iFrog Lab, then click on download. A new page will open up. From this list, click on 2.4G Spectrum Analyzer USB dongle software. Then finally, download the software from here. Once the download is completed, extract this zip file, then install this software. A desktop icon will be created. After installation is completed, open the software. So this is the software UI. It has all the functionality like tracing, clearing, maximum, hold, freeze, average and pick. The black area here is for spectrum visualization. You can magnify as well as pan and zoom the waveform. You can also export the visualized waveform. This application is meant to stimulate the functionality of a spectrum analyzer. This application simulates the functionality by reading signal strength indicator values called RSSI, which means received signal strength indicator. Before starting the software, insert the USB dongle into your computer's USB port. Then go to your computer device manager to identify the port number. In my case, the USB is connected to port number 19. From the part, select the port for your device. Then click on open. 
this will connect the device to the software. Then go to tools and click on calibrate. At bottom, you will get a message like SCA calibrated received. Congratulations, your device is now ready for use. Now click on start. Immediately the software will start detecting the 2.4 GHz radio spectrum signals. Now you can bring your mobile devices or Wi-Fi or any devices with 2.4 GHz frequency. The spectrum level based on RSSI will appear here. We have a max full option here. Enable this option by clicking. The curve is always displaying the maximum value of the latest sample. The number of sample to find the maximum value from is set in the spin box on the right side of the max hole button. Check this freeze option. The curve is no longer updated. It will stop immediately and will display the graph of the stop time. To remove this, click on clear. The hide button will hide everything from the screen and clicking back on the show will again show the curve. The peak button will show the maximum peak of the analyzed signal. Now. Click on average. The curve is displaying the average of the latest sample. The number of sample to average over is set in the spin box on the right side of the average button. You can also magnify and pan and zoom the spectrum signal. Anyway, you can check all other options from this software menu to learn more about all its functionalities. One more thing that you can do with this software is you can export the read signal in a graph. This is the exported graph. The curves, cursors, markers, grid, scales, and axis levels are exported as displayed in the application, except for the black background. That's all from the software part. The complete project details, including device information, purchase link, source code, and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.